In the modern world, bridges and buildings get bigger and bigger, but there is one country that does it better than the rest. That's right, China is leader in the infrastructure industry, and today we'll be looking at the amazing bridges that China has built that shock the world. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Did you know China built a bridge that connects Asia with Europe? Stick with us to find out more. China is one of the largest economies in the world, and its sheer volume of talented engineers and equipment furthers China's growth in hunger for more infrastructures. China now leads the infrastructure race by building bridges and roads that are gigantic in scale, and some of these bridges are just art in the way they're built. However, it wasn't always like this. In the 60s and 70s, it was a race between America and Europe to build infrastructure to keep up with the ever-growing demand of the population and means to make transport easier across their land. In the 90s, Japan joined in and was ahead in the infrastructure race. This was truly the time of the land of the rising sun, and with the latest technologies developed there, no other countries could compete. That was until China joined the fray, and the dragon soared above all and built mammoth bridges and endless long highways at a rate the other countries could not keep up. Now, China leads the race, and let's look at some of these bridges to see why they're so brilliant at it. Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is titled the longest bridge in the world, and it has the Guinness World Record to prove its might. This bridge is one of the testaments of how far China is willing to go to improve its infrastructure, and it's no small bridge at all. The bridge was opened in June 2011 and spans a total of 102.4 miles in length. It is part of the high-speed rail network that China keeps expanding on, and this bridge is a testament to the engineering achievements the country has made. However, not all of the bridge is over water. The reason why they built the bridge so big is to ensure that the high-speed trains traveling on its rails face as less resistance as possible and a stable concrete pad to run on top of. To top all of the girder-type buildings and bridges, which China is so fond of, it also helps the tracks be stable, which gives the passengers a much more smooth and calm ride even at high speeds. The bridge spans over water, low-laying rice fields and meanders through calm and rushing rivers and beautiful mountain ranges. It was indeed an engineering feat to make all of this happen. And of course, this would not be possible without the help of huge manpower. The construction of the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge employed over 10,000 workers, and the building was completed in less than four years. The bridge stands over 100 feet above the ground. The bridge covers the distance from Shanghai and Nanjing in Jiangsu province, connecting two important financial hubs. And thanks to this new rail bridge, they were able to lower the travel time to just two hours. The bridge is also built for safety. As an area that sees a lot of typhoons and earthquakes, just lying down tracks can be dangerous. The bridge is built to sustain the typhoon speed winds in the area and also sustain magnitude 8 earthquakes without endangering the lives of the people traveling on the bridge. The bridge cost a whopping $8.5 billion to build. Zhaozhao Bay Bridge The Zhaozhao Bay Bridge is another fine example of brilliant Chinese engineering. The bridge spans over 16.6 .6 miles, or just over 26.7 kilometers, and the longest segment of this bridge is 16.1 miles, or 25.9 kilometers. This bridge was titled the longest bridge over water in terms of aggregate length in the world. This was after a claim by China about having built the longest bridge when it was built before a new bridge built by China itself took over the record, and we'll talk about it soon. Building this bridge over two districts, the Qingdao and Huangdao district, the bridge was able to lower the distance of travel by over 30 kilometers compared to the existing expressway through the bay of these districts. The bridge was certainly not cheap to build, and with over 450,000 tons of steel used for this project and an estimated 2.3 million cubic meters of cement used to complete the construction of this bridge. The bridge is truly a marvel to look at, but most of all, the bridges need to withstand the test of time and weather and that is exactly what the engineers have done here. The bridge is supported by 5,238 concrete pillars to hold it in place and give it a sturdy platform for the vehicles to ride on. The bridge was also built to withstand typhoon-type winds and major earthquakes that rock the district the bridge connects. However, being built over the sea poses another problem. Ships. When you build any bridge over the sea, it is imperative that you take measures to ensure that the bridge will not collapse in the event of a ship colliding with the bridge. The Zhaozhao Bay Bridge has been reinforced at the time of construction to ensure that even if a ship does collide with a bridge, the bridge would stay upright and pose no harm to the people traveling on the road above. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge currently holds the title of the longest bridge over water and is a 34 mile long or 55 kilometer bridge tunnel system. 
The bridge connects the major cities of Hong Kong and Macau. Once the bridge was completed, it took the three-hour drive between these two cities down to just 45 minutes, which helped not only the people traveling between these cities, but also the huge cargo trucks to safely and efficiently deliver the cargo between these two cities. This bridge started construction on December 15, 2009, and was open to the public on October 24, 2018. Considering the fact that this bridge went underwater and a complex underground tunnel needed to be built that met all safety regulations, the build time for the bridge was exceptionally fast. The bridge was constructed to last for at least the next 120 years with a huge price tag of $18.8 billion to finish construction for the bridge. The bridge also consists of an artificial island where the bridge descends from being an oversea bridge to an underwater tunnel. Blago Veshenk's Haihe Bridge Now to answer the question you all have been waiting for, the Blago Veshenk's Haihe Bridge is the bridge that connects two continents together, China from Asia and Russia from Europe. China has long been friends with Russia, and this bridge was also built under the Belt and Road Scheme of China, which builds bridges and roads for better transport of cargo and also ease of accessibility. This bridge is built between the Russian city of Blagoveshchensk and the Chinese city of Hei. This bridge is built over the Amur River. Due to the current circumstances, the bridge is only open for freight traffic and helps China and Russia trade without any difficulties. Although the bridge is only 1.28 km long, the international highways span a total of 19.9 km. Part of the highway, a 6.5 km section of the highway, is being built in China starting in Changfatu, Haihe City in the Heilongjiang province while the remaining 13.4 kilometers is being constructed from the Russian side of Kanikulgan village in the city of Blagovenshanks. The bridge was opened with much fanfare as cargo trucks traveled between the bridge, making the cross-border journey between Russia and China. It is clear that China has the means and methods to build amazing bridges and build them fast. Today, we have seen just the sheer number of people involved in constructing a bridge. Now, China is working towards a safer and better working environment for its workers and also to help build bridges more efficiently and cost efficiently than it already is. China has an obsession with girder-type bridges, and there is a simple reason for that. Most of the bridges you see in this list are actually built in another place and then placed piece by piece as if assembling giant jigsaw puzzles. These huge pieces of concrete and steel are transported to the construction site. They are then placed by huge machines such as the SLJ-900 and the Kunlun, which are built to carry girder sections of the bridge and put them in a way that no humans could do before, helping save both manpower and time and money. What do you think of these bridges? Would you ever visit these bridges? It would be an amazing experience to ride on these one-of-a-kind bridges. Let us know down in the comments about your thoughts on these bridges. And if you like this video, Make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future videos.